An investigation is underway tonight after a bus driver diverted from her route and crashed into a railway bridge, slicing the roof off her bus. 17 people were injured and three were taken to hospital. One tonight has serious facial injuries. Passengers have spoken of being flung around inside the vehicle and described it as scary. The bus company, First Bus, is investigating tonight why the driver of the number 17 was half a mile off course. Andy Gill is at the scene tonight. Uh, Andy, uh, how are the people who were hurt? Well, right, in fact, we believe two people were taken to hospital with serious injuries, one with a broken jaw, no official word yet on their condition. Most people, though, were treated here at the scene for minor cuts and bruises and shock. And that included people who'd been on the lower deck of the bus, which is the bridge here, and not just those who'd been on the upper deck, which was sliced off. Stuck beneath the railway bridge close to Rochdale Station, the first bus, number 17, with its roof sheared off. 25 passengers were on board when the crash happened this lunchtime. We got flung forward, I got flung down the aisle. I was at the back of the bus at the bottom, and I got flung forward. We all got rushed all over the bus, but everyone like got together and like, helped you know, to get everyone off the bus, but it was so scary. This footage, taken by a local resident minutes after the crash, shows passengers still waiting to get off the bus's lower and upper decks. They were, they were definitely in shock. There was people crying, young girls were crying. And I really wanted to go over, but I thought it was best to get the police involved first. 17 people were hurt. A man in his 20s suffered a broken jaw. A woman was also taken to hospital with serious facial injuries. Some residents say it's not the first time vehicles have crashed into this bridge. The family had before in it. I mean, one is in bus before, and one is before is a truck, you know, trailer. He's stuck underneath it as well, is it? The road remained closed while the damaged bus was towed away. The bridge wasn't damaged, and rail services weren't affected. The road was reopened three hours after the bus hit the bridge. An investigation into why the bus driver came down this route is now underway. The roof of the bus was so badly damaged, it broke again when workers tried to lift it onto a recovery truck. It was eventually towed away. First Bus has dismissed suggestions that the driver was on her first day in the job. We're now trying to establish why the bus, which runs from Manchester to Rochdale, was half a mile away from its normal route. Sure, and First Bus and Greater Manchester Police are encouraging anyone who has information or who witnessed what happened to get in touch with them so they can find out as soon as possible how this accident happened. Thank you uh, very much indeed, Andy Gilbert in Rochdale, a lucky escape for many people. Now, the father of a